how would how would you describe your comedic point of view? You know, I started to answer some of that before and by saying that, I, that I'm very spread out and that I do a lot of different kinds of things, some of them socially you know, interesting and, and, and con confrontational, other things perfectly innocent about dogs and cats and, and ooh, the look on your doggy's face. And then there's anger and then there's the language, the English language, and then there's the dirty language. So my comedic point of view is that the world is, a, is really a big straight line. Sometimes the world is actually a punchline. There are things that happen and you'll say, I can't believe that, can you believe that? But most of the time, and, and then for that reason you don't have to tilt your head because the world at that time is coming at you at 45 degree angle, so they're out of whack. But most of the world appears to be straight and level, so you got to tilt your head 45 degrees and your vision becomes, how can I take that reality just distorted enough to suit my purposes, to show them that it's the craziness is there, it's just well disguised, folks. It looks now that guy Dan Rather comes on, he looks normal, but check his eyes. The man is fucking nuts. <laughs> Look in his eyes when he's talking to you. He doesn't have a clue what's going on. And he says and, and Walter Cronkite says, and that's the way it is. And I say, and that's the way it jolly well fucking isn't, Walter. You know, so so you have to do the switch sometimes. And that's my point of view is to is to tilt my vision forty five degrees.